Hello guys, and for this video, we will be discussing my battle belt setup. And so before we discuss what's on my battle belt, it's important also to discuss why it's important to have one at home. Uh, aside from being a very good range belt, carrying uh, spare ammo and uh, med kit, it also serves as my home defense uh, rig. Uh, so whenever there's a bump in the night, or uh, when there's uh, an emergency here at home, I have everything I need in this belt. And for the belt itself, it is a T-Rex Arms Orion belt. It has a Cobra buckle. So I chose this belt because it's very fast to put on. Also, the it has a non-slip texture here at the back. So even, so I first see myself using this uh, in the middle of the night, in my undies, you know, so <laughs> when I put on that belt, it's not going to hurt. It's going to stay in place. And uh, yeah, T-Rex Arms Orion belt. Okay, so for our first attachment, we have a knife by K-Bar. This is the TDI knife. If you've watched our EDC video, I also carry this for my EDC. And I also have another one for my home defense rig. So for my primary weapon, I have a shotgun for home defense. I have a Glock 17 as my secondary. And uh, if for some reason I can't access both those weapons because someone's right in front of me, I can, I have a knife to fall back on. Next up, we have magazine pouches. So no one ever said they needed less ammo. So it's nice to have more ammo uh, in your home defense belt. And uh, here we have the S-Tac Kaiwis. And what's nice about these uh, magazine pouches is that they're, they have an open top. So there is no bungee cord or flaps to get rid of when you need to reload. And uh, so here they make use of uh, Kydex retention. So, so due to their open top design, it makes re-indexing the magazines uh, way easier. And uh, next, we have here a same brand, S-Tac, but this is for a rifle magazine. And uh, I, I have this here just uh, in case I get a rifle somewhere in the future. But what's nice about this is it also, it can hold pistol magazines, as you can see here. Okay, so dump pouch. Uh, this one is made by T-Rex Arms. Uh, when I'm at the range, I use my dump pouch to... Uh, dump my spare magazines in and uh, for home defense uh, I'm probably not going to be wearing anything with pockets so uh, the dump pouch is uh, what I'll use to carry my phone and now for the most important part of your home defense belt and uh, so as preppers we usually prepare for the worst case scenario some of us think that uh, a gunfight with an intruder is the worst case scenario but for me the worst case scenario is uh i get shot you know while defending my home and uh traumatic bleeding usually takes just a couple of minutes for someone to bleed out so that is why a trauma kit is essential for me so right here we have our tourniquet so this is your cat tourniquet so this is used for controlling bleeding from your extremities, namely your hands and your feet. And uh, we'll be discussing how to use this in a later video. And here we have your uh, trauma supplies. You have the nasopharyngeal airway, chest seals, trauma shears, uh, compressed gauze, hemostatic gauze, and bandage. So... Uh, I'm not going to discuss how to use each and every one of these, but uh, it's important to have these with you in your home defense rig. And it's also important to get training. And we will be discussing how to use all of these in a later video. So, so right here, you have a multi-tool pouch. I have a Leatherman EOD multi-tool. And uh, yeah, it's just nice to have a multi-tool on you. The next up, we have a HSGI pouch that carries a flashlight. So, so backups upon backups. So my shotgun has a weapon light. My Glock 17 has a weapon light. 
So if any of those go down, at least I have another one as a backup light. Okay, so lastly, we have my sidearm. I have a Glock 17 in a Safari Land 6390 RDS holster. So with Safari Land holsters, they have uh, a, an ALS system, which is a locking system that holds on to the ejection port of your firearm. So if a bad guy tries to go for your gun and they don't know how to disable that locking system, they won't be able to go for your uh, pistol. So how to deactivate this uh, holster? There's this thumb button right here and the pistol draws really. So as opposed to Kydex holsters that rely on uh, friction, uh, so I believe that uh, a Safari Land holster has a smoother draw because uh, once that locking mechanism is disabled, uh, there's no friction that refuses to let go of that gun. So, yeah, smooth. Okay, so just to demo the locking mechanism of the Safari Land holster. So uh, here, the firearm is secure. But once you disable that mechanism, that firearm will fall freely. So the uh, Safari Land uh, ALS system has one of the smoothest draws compared to all the holsters out there. So uh, if we disable the lock, it's just it just falls freely. So that aids in a smooth draw. And uh, what you have here is the Safari Land QLS system. So it allows me to switch out uh, my pistol. So here is my Glock holster. And then I have uh, this Kydex holster from 4Boys Custom Kydex. And uh, it houses my uh, Rock Island Armory 1911. So if I want to switch out uh, systems, I can just, I, take, I took out my Glock and I'm putting my uh, 1911 right here. And uh, this is now a 1911 rig. Okay, and so that's it. That was my uh, battle belt setup that I use for uh, home defense. And uh, if you guys have your own battle belt suggestions, I'd like to see them. Maybe we can help each other out. And uh, please uh, share this video with your friends. And uh, it's really going to help my channel out. Thank you and see you in the next one.